of one of my favorite things to do is the self-defense in the club. I just, it's a lot of fun to practice and train and teach to people. We are club sport through the university. We have to be welcoming, we have to be fun. We can't just make people feel bad about themselves when they show up. So it's informal, but there's still, there is some formality and we still obviously uh, care about Taekwondo a lot. It's not us just joking around. We just a little more relaxed than most private schools are. Oh. Candidate will just go up in front of a judge. They will perform all the necessary requirements. One of the judges, who has to be at least two belt ranks above what they're testing for, will then decide whether or not they met the requirements. We typically spend the first half of club working on techniques together, such as uh, stances and forms and or formal techniques and then kicks and then we'll typically split in the second half and work on specific belt requirements. Well, with the class, you'll obviously get a credit for doing that, and then there really isn't much other of a difference, except for you'll typically do more stuff in club earlier than you will in class. For example, if you work on self-defense as a whole club in the first half, you won't really get to that until at least the third class rank, or the third class, yeah. Uh, to promote Taekwondo throughout the university and provide a place for students to train when they're away from home. 